Claire Makery, this is Claire from E Claire Makery, and today I am going to be teaching you how to crochet the pineapple stitch. One of my favorite things about crochet color work is getting to use multiple colors and textured stitches to create something super fun, and I think that this pineapple stitch pattern captures that perfectly. So what you'll need to know how to do is do bobble stitches and front post triple crochets. If you don't know how to do either of these stitches, don't worry, I will be teaching you all of the techniques for how to do this tapestry crochet stitch where, or intarsia crochet if you would rather do it. I think that this one would be a good one to use intarsia crochet for so you can use whatever color changing technique that you like the best and you can totally make this stitch with that so i will show you how to do all the things you need to know and i think you are really going to love this stitch pattern before we get started on our video be sure to hit the like button below and click on the subscribe button and notifications as well so that you don't miss out on any of my crochet stitch tutorials or pattern tutorials here on my YouTube channel. I love getting to share different crochet techniques and patterns with you guys and I don't want you to miss out on any of them. So let's go ahead and jump right into the stitch pattern. To make the pineapple stitch, you're going to need a few different colors of yarn. I'm using white as my background color, but you can use any color. And then a green for the top of the pineapple and a yellow as well. All of these are the Lion Brand Basic Stitch yarns and th this is one of my favorite basic yarns to use. It just has a lot of great colors and it's super soft and makes such great stitches. And then if you are using worsted weight yarn, then you are going to also want a size six millimeter crochet hook. I'm using a Furls Streamline crochet hook, but if you are using um, another weight of yarn, which you totally can do with this stitch, then you'll just want to use the appropriate hook size for that yarn. And then um, you'll need some scissors later and a tapestry needle if you have one, if you'd like to use that for weaving in your ends. Once you have all of your supplies and are ready to start, you are going to want to start with three rows of 23 half double crochet. So you will start your row off with 25 chain stitches, then starting in the third chain from the hook, you will half double crochet all the way down to have a uh, 23 stitches at the end, and then you'll chain two and turn and repeat till you have three rows of your main color. And this is just if you are going to be doing the six inch square of that I demonstrate here in this video tutorial and have available on my blog, but you can of course just take the pineapple stitch pattern and um, add that to whatever pattern that you would like to. So if you are going to be following along with this video and you would like to use the graph that I have right here, you can find this for free on my blog as well as the written instructions that you can follow along with as well. You can get those at the link in the description below. It will have a section where it says the free patterns available here and you can have that while you're watching this video and I can walk you through all of the different steps for this stitch. So once you have everything ready, then we are going to go ahead and jump right in. So we'll start on our fourth row, which will be row four on the pattern and all on, on the chart, all of the odd numbered rows are right side rows and all of the even numbered rows are wrong side rows. And we are going to be starting our color work on the wrong side because our first row of color work uses bobble stitches. And bobble stitches, you always want to do those on the wrong side because that way they always pop out on the right side of your work and they don't pop in the back. So we'll go ahead and do that with our color work here. So you start by chaining two and turning. Then we are going to half double crochet four stitches. One, two, three. And then on our fourth half double crochet, we're going to do that first yarn over and inserting it into the hook like normal. And then instead of finishing off the color with our main color, we are going to go ahead and switch to our yellow here. So in order to switch colors, what you're gonna do is bring the white yarn around to the back, which will be the side that is facing you. Then you take your yellow yarn and then you hook it with your crochet hook. 
and then you pull it through all three of those loops that you normally would pull your white yarn um, on your uh, normal stitches where you're not doing color work. Then you can go ahead and just pull that yarn a little bit to tighten that up so that way you don't have um, any loose stitches and it doesn't look weird or have any gaping holes. Then you'll see here on our chart on the row that we are on, we are going to start with this dark stitch and all of these dark gold colored stitches mean that we are going to do, be doing bobbles. So all of the normal yellow ones are half double crochets and all of the darker ones are bobbles. And if you've never done a bobble before, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to do that right here. So to start your first bobble stitch, you're going to yarn over like you're doing a normal half double crochet. Then in the next stitch over, you're going to insert your hook, then yarn over and pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook, then you're going to yarn over, pull through those first two loops. Then we're going to repeat that. So we insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. And we are going to do this till we have a total of six loops on our hook after we have gone and done the yarn overs and pulling through those first two loops. So once we have all six loops here, we are going to yarn over, pull through, and then we've completed our first bobble stitch. So then in the next stitch, you are going to do a normal half double crochet and then we're going to do a bobble stitch again. And when you're doing the bobble stitches on the wrong side, it will look flat, but if you turn it over to the right side, you're going to have this fun um, bobble that pops out on the front, which is always super fun to see and adds a lot of cool texture to crochet patterns. So then we've got to do this full bobble stitch. So we've got our six loops, pull it through, then we're going to do another half double crochet, and then on we're going to do our last bobble. And like when we switched over to the yellow color, on our last yarn over, we are going to be switching colors. So once you have this, uh, these six loops on here, and you'll notice that oh, my white yarn isn't over on this side anymore. And that's because I carried it all the way through these stitches and you won't see it on the front. You'll just have um, this nice clean look on both sides. And if you've watched my tapestry crochet tutorial, this I um, walk you through how you get to carry your yarn. And in some of my other stitch tutorial videos, I do that as well. And if you go back a little bit, you'll see what I did is I just crocheted around the white yarn as I was working with it. So now when I need to switch back to it, I've got it right here. So then I'm going to bring my yellow yarn to the back and then I'm going to get my white yarn and I've got all six of these loops on here. So then I'm going to take my white yarn and I'm going to pull it through all of those loops on my hook. And then I've completed my first set of bobbles that are on this pineapple. And then I can go ahead and just do my normal white half double crochets while carrying the yellow. So then what we just did right here on this first set of bobbles, you'll go ahead and do that on the second pineapple as well. And then we'll move on to the next row. Once you have finished that row, you are going to have a nice set of bobbles as the base of your pineapple. And then we can move on to forming the rest of the pineapple. So what we will do to start this row is we're going to do chain two, turn our work, and then we are going to start on the next row of the pineapple. So you'll see on the chart here, we start by doing three single, three half double crochet instead of the um, four that we started our row with before. So we are effectively going, or essentially we are going to be moving over the yellow stitches so that they expand while keeping the same stitch count that we have on here. We're just swapping out the stitch colors. So then we're going to do 
three half double crochet and then just like I showed you before on this last half double crochet what we're going to do is we are going to take our yellow yarn and switch over by on this last yarn over we just yarn over and pull through those three loops right there and on this row you'll see on the chart that it's just yellow stitches so that means that on this row we will just be doing the half double crochets in the yellow and this is because we uh, do do ha normal half double crochets on the right side rows and then on the wrong side rows we add in these bobbles so then we're going to go over these stitches with our yellow yarn and always carrying that white yarn in the back. And if you don't like the way that it looks with having the um, yarn in being carried through your stitches, you can totally just use yarn bobbins and do intarsia crochet with this and it will just... It, it won't show up as much, um, especially if you've got a loose tension on your stitches, then you might want to just use those instead, just because that way you don't have any yarn peeking through, especially when it's a very contrasting color. So then once we've got those stitches, we will switch back to our white yarn, and then we crochet a few stitches over to the other pineapple and repeat the same thing on there. And what you'll be doing for the rest of um, these rows of the pineapple is you just repeat what we just did right here. Oops, got to switch to my yellow on this part. Um, so you will be just doing rows with the bobbles and then rows of the half double crochet till you reach the very top of the yellow pineapple work and then we will go ahead and add the top of the pineapple with the front post triple crochets. So you'll get a lot of really cool texture on your um, pineapples as you do this stitch. So just go ahead and follow along with the chart or the written pattern on my blog and then we will do the tops of the pineapples. It's time to start doing the tops of the pineapples. So I have gone ahead and chained two and turned my work and then I am going to start doing one half double crochet and, fin and switching to the green on that last yarn over for that stitch. Then what we're going to do is we are going to start doing some front post triple crochets. So this will count as this next stitch and we will not be crocheting into this next stitch on our row. To start doing that front post triple crochet, we're going to yarn over two times. Then we are going to go down here right to the top of this bobble all the way down there and we are going to put our hook around the post of that stitch. We are going to yarn over, pull through around that post, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through another two, and then yarn over and pull through those last two. And that is the first one of our toppers for that. So we will skip crocheting in this next stitch there, and then we're going to do another front post triple crochet. This time we will be doing it around the post of the next stitch to where we just did it. So we will do the same thing that we just did, but we will be switching to the white yarn instead of finishing that stitch off with the green. Then we are going to single crochet one, and now make sure that when you go to single crochet, you know exactly where your stitches are going to go. So you're going to skip these two stitches there. Then you are going to single crochet in that next one, but you will be switching to the green in that last yarn over so that we can start doing those middle two front post triple crochets. So pull that yarn. Then we're going to yarn over twice, go to the same one we just went around, and do that. And on this last yarn over, you will switch back to the white. Then we skip this next stitch there, and then single crochet 
or half double crochet one. I think I said half double or single crochet over here, but it is a half double crochet. Make sure it's a half double crochet. <laughs> then we are going to switch back to the green, do another one of those front plus triple crochets. We will do it on this next stitch that's on top of one of the other bobbles, on top of the pineapple. Go like that and then switch back to the white yarn. Then we are going to skip that next stitch right here, go over to this one, yarn over, and then switch back to the green to do the last two um, front post triple crochets on the top. So you'll go do the next one around that stitch that we just did a front post triple crochet around. And then on the next stitch, we are going to go over here to the top of that um, last bobble on the top of the pineapple, go to that post of that stitch, and then switch back to the white yarn like that. And that is how you do the top of the pineapple on the pineapple stitch. It's it's totally easy. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to whip this up in no time at all, and you're going to love making this. So you'll just repeat that on this second pineapple and then finish your stitch swatch up with one more row of half double crochets. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this crochet stitch video tutorial. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more fun crochet stitch tutorial patterns. And if you are wondering how to get the chart and the written pattern, it's available for free on my blog at the link in the description, or you can get the printable PDF version of this pattern with 29 other stitches in the stitch exploration bundle that I have with Knitting with Chopsticks and Joy of Motion. So I can't wait to show you more of the fun crochet stitches that I have coming up here on my channel and I hope that you have a ton of fun creating patterns with this stitch. Can't wait to show you what I have planned next time and I will see you then. Bye! Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like it below if you enjoyed watching it and hit the subscribe button if you never want to miss out a video from me and also check out my other videos and tutorials on my channel. See you next time.